Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready for some more Hunter Hunter? We're going to be doing um, starting from episode 111 today. And I am extremely, extremely excited to jump into these reactions, man. Um, I put a video out. If you guys have not checked that video out yet, make sure you go. And check that last update video on the channel. You can check the update playlist if you cannot find it. But it was the um, last update on the channel. It's not the last video I uploaded. But it is the um, last update one that is titled um, Updates About Everything. Okay, so we're going to jump into this, man. You guys already know what's going on. Most of you guys just come here and click on the link anyways. So we're going to aim for 50 likes again on this one. You guys said that these um, couple of episodes coming up are going to be hype. So let's go see what it's all about. And I will see you guys right back here for the review. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Hopefully you came to check this out this pre this review out <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in man for these five episodes where we're good um there were highs there were lows great moments man great moments great moments nice setup moments um um it was a good fight for shoot and up um Finally revealing what Yupi can do because, you know, we didn't really have never really gotten a display of what he can actually do. He can kind of transform into a lot of different things. Many arms, many eyes. Um, I don't think we've seen the extent of what he can do because he, he, they're saying he, he has not as much human features as a res, which is very obvious. He looks like a beast looks like an animal still um so he's more of a magical beast they're saying um so that's pretty cool so we have zeno and netero that was the highlight of this reaction of course netero and zeno are friends <laughs> grandpa zoldic out here chilling with dragons in the sky his dragon dive is dope like who did he develop this ability for <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what did he did, did he develop this to storm castles <laughs> like, you know what i'm saying like he was like you know what i'm just gonna develop an ability to just um take out a city you know what i'm saying i'm an i'm an assassin so I'm just going to develop this ability that just allows me to just just terrorize a whole city. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was that was pretty cool, man, to see is that dragon dive ability is pretty cool. Them coming in on a dragon, them floating in the air like bosses. Netero was just standing there and then finding out about Netero's past, finding out about him being so old that he was already old. When Grandpa Zoldic was still sucking on titties. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, you know, that was very revealing. Revealing his age. Also, experience and stuff like that. And his move, his punches are faster than the speed of sound. My guy. My guy. Come on. How is this not somebody, like, I've here heard people talk about in power scaling, I've, I've never seen them mention Netero in that argument. And I'm like, now that I know about him, I'm like, how is it that you know about Netero in this kind of context and he's never being mentioned in a, so many, like, I've seen a lot of power scaling videos about um goku and what goku can do even saitama and saitama is relatively new you know what i'm saying saitama is 2050 maybe a little bit earlier because of you know the the, the web comics and the manga whatever but still my guy 
he should have been mentioned before. That's all I'm saying is Netero. I've never seen a video about him. Uh, I maybe just never came across anything and I haven't watched it. And plus, I never watched uh, Hunter Hunter. So I probably would have never clicked on it. Um, so in, in any case, how you going to look at it, he's still a beast. He's still a monster because that training that he did where we was doing, the man can punch you 10,000 time in less than an hour. My guy, you are a beast. <laughs> okay. You are a beast. The man came back. And the master of the dojo had to say, listen, man, can I be your student? You could take my school. The man was crying. Oh, my God. That was ridiculous, man. It's just to showcase who he is as a character, his experience. And, man, did he backhand the shit out of Pito. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Um Sending her away from the castle, of course. But it was, it was, it was a very, I'm not happy that Kam Kamugi got hurt. And that goes to show you how the king really feels about Kamugi. And I'm glad that they respected it. You know, you don't get a lot of scenes like that in anime. You don't get a lot of scenes like that where... You're not necessarily thinking of Meruem right now as a antagonist. You get what I'm saying? You're more thinking of him like, okay, he's the big bad that we're after, but you can relate to what he's going through. There's a conflict that he's going through that you understand. And I'm glad that um, with, with Grandpa Zoldic, and Netero standing there, they actually realized what was going on, um, you know, and respected the fact that, you know, he, you know, what was going on. Because, you know, maybe if they made a wrong move, maybe the king would have, you know, ended them there. We wouldn't want to see that. That would have been very sad and frightening, <laughs> you know, so they had to play it the right way. Also, the king said, I recognize already that you guys want to do this without the least amount of, you know, human, what he said, the, the least amount of human casualties. So let's take this elsewhere, right? So that was pretty dope. It's kind of also dope that Zeno can send the freaking his ability um, I don't know how far they're going, but you know what I'm saying? Like wherever they're going and he still stayed there at the, the palace. So that was, that was pretty dope to see that he could just send the, anybody on the dragon, how far they're going. I don't know what's the limit on it, but it has to be far cause they're going far away from the palace to go and fight. So, so definitely looking forward to that matchup. Netero versus Meruem. Um, uh, I don't have a, a, a pick in the fight yet. I don't have a pick in the fight because we really haven't seen what the king is capable of. And now that he's basically learned strategy, he's going to be a tougher opponent. So even if Netero should try to outsmart him, you know, there's still a possibility that the king could come out on top of, in this match just because of the fact that he was sitting down playing Gungi for so long and learning so much from this girl strategy wise is pretty pretty dope that could put his intelligence on a whole nother level that they wouldn't have if it expected you know what i'm saying i mean he's he, he's crazy <laughs> the king he's crazy so he could snap to you know what I'm saying? So, but he kept his calm and they went outside. And now they're off. So, yeah, man, pretty cool stuff. Um, the situation that's going on with Welfin, he, he, he's way too paranoid, man. He's way too paranoid. What species is he? He's like, is this a wolf? Are wolves that suspicious of everything? Is that where he's getting that from? Because I don't know. Because he has 
he's he's a wolf. I don't know why he's wearing a thong, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that just kind of threw me off when I noticed that. Um, he, but yeah, man. Um, Chicago is down in the basement looking for Palm, but Palm is not down there. But they don't know that. Um, so we have a situation going on where Knuckles looks like he's trying to, they're trying to get him away, get UP, get all of them away. Um, Morel is fighting, um, Shah Poof, Shah Poof. So Morel is fighting Poof and he's got him locked up there with the smoke jail. So they're battling it out. Didn't get to see what they're doing. Um, his ability is pretty dope. Poof's ability is pretty dope, where he can kind of sense what you're what you're thinking, or sense you know like your confidence and all that stuff. It's pretty pretty good stuff. So, as I said, man, the story is progressing very well. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more, man. Gun is pissed right now. He finally is face to face with Pito. How is he going to respond? What is he going to do? Um, I don't know. Is he going to go off the rail? Does Killer One need to calm him down again? What What, what is going to happen? That That's... <sighs> okay. I am just ready for... I, I'm going to stay ready. I'm going to try to stay ready. The story is incredible. Incredible storytelling right now. Even the narration, you know what I'm saying? I like the narration, um, even though I would have preferred if the story just went along, but the narration kind of keeps you in it through those, you know, kind of slow moments where, you know, you would rather, you would want the pace to pick up, but you, you want to hear what the narrator have to say. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure that there's people out there that, that probably, you know, a lot of people, I think there was a comment on the last video that was talking about um, people think that this is one of the worst arcs or the slowest arc or the less, um, the least enjoyed arc of Hunter Hunter because it's so, it's slow. The setup is really slow. But the thing about it is that I think that's the reason why they included the narrator because the narrator kind of keeps the keeps the pace. It keeps you in pocket to recognize what the pace is and to just keep listening to hear what is really going on, kind of talking about what the characters are thinking at the moment. You see them on screen. Not a ton of dialogue because, to be honest, there's no reason for a ton of dialogue. Let's just be honest about it. In the story right now, there's not... A lot of reasons for people to be having dialogue in those specific times when dialogue is necessary we do get dialogue so in those open spaces when people are running to their targets and all of that other stuff you need that narration to kind of keep you going because if they're just going to show people running through hallways all the damn time you know what i'm saying that's going to make the pacing even worse so the narrator is there to keep that pace going, which is an excellent, brilliant idea on Madhouse's part. I'm pretty sure that's probably um, Madhouse that made that call alongside Tagashi, of course, um, to do that. I don't know how it was in the manga. Maybe you guys can open my eyes to that if it was the same thing, if it was like narration and not speaking and, it's, you know, on the panels and stuff. You can let me know that. It's not spoiler. Okay, so... Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. It's all good. It's all ready. Next, we're going to jump into um, from 116 and up. Then we got five episodes. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Just remember to like, subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section. And you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys next time for some more Hunter Hunter. Peace.